Count down the Busso series. One day to go, Saturday pre-race, second video. So this morning I did a little spin on the bike, about half an hour, a couple of short builds to get the, the well, work through the gears, I guess. Um, and that's both on the bike and in the body. Um, and then I did a short runoff, which was actually exactly the same as the run I did on Thursday off the bike. So that was literally only six minutes. Same sort of thing. Some smooth running and then also just some building to, to make sure all the systems are awake and everything's running smoothly. Uh, now the bikes have been checked in. I've had lunch um, and relaxing the rest of the afternoon. Probably just wanted to document... Um, some of my <clears throat> thoughts, expectations, pre-race um, from myself. Um, now I'm going to talk some numbers uh, and some figures and I often uh, mention performance predictability. Um, so I, I guess I have pass marks for what I'd like to achieve tomorrow um, and that, some of that comes in the form of uh, splits but also overall time. Uh, but ultimately, as I talk about all the time, I still have to go and get it tomorrow just because I've done certain things in training or I feel a certain way or I'm hoping to do something. It do I still have to execute to the best of my ability tomorrow no matter what. Um, and although there's, I believe there's some performance predictability based on what I've done in training um, and how I'm feeling, um, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed. Um, so. I still need to execute to the best of my ability tomorrow, which includes nailing, uh, nutrition, hydration, pacing, <clears throat> and managing mindset. Um, so for a little bit of context, I did a blow out the cobwebs race at Sunshine Coast 70.3, which was the 8th of September this year. And that was two years, um, two years after my last 70.3 or last competitive 70.3. Um, and what's interesting is this week, um, Riley, Luke, Bethany and I actually went through all the races that I've done um, since I started racing 70.3 or half or long course races in 2010 and we sort of pulled together a little bit of a spreadsheet of all my splits um, and my overall race re results um, and where that placed me and that type of thing which is an interesting process and something that I've been wanting to do for quite a long period of time but never got around to so it was a little bit of fun and going back through the archives a little bit um, I don't know why I told you that I can't remember what, what my train of thought was um, but that was interesting but again going back to Sunny Coast so that was it's two years since my last 70.3 that was what I was saying um, where I was you know racing competitively released so that was Sunny Coast 2017 um, and then I did Sunshine Coast 2019 this year obviously um, which was about three months ago. Um, the race busos on December the 1st, 2019. So I did that off no specific race prep. So at Jet Coaching, we go through a, um, a progression of uh, cycles in our training, um, which basically give a little bit of a guideline as to what we're going to be working on at certain times of the year. Um, and obviously that all comes together, but the beauty of it is, is it's cyclic, so then it repeat, repeats itself year on, uh, season on season. So hopefully what we start to see is year on year progressions. Um, so a little snapshot of that is after your last race of the season, um, which is usually March, April, May for Melbourne based um, triathletes, you do a little post season which is anywhere from a two to four week phase where it's very low structure, very cruisy, not being a sloth, but just keeping moving and really relaxed. Um, that's the time to mix it up and do some mountain bike and do some surfing, do some different things. Then we go into a preparatory phase, um, which basically prepares for the work ahead and sort of lays the foundation for what's coming. Um, and that's not the typical base miles where you do long, slow, easy miles and try and build the aerobic base. Uh, quite the contrary, in fact, that's probably the time where you're working on your your real, really high strength work, high power work, short, sharp, very different to what you would be, the type of work that you'd be doing in race season. Um, 
and that's probably anywhere from six to 12 weeks in duration. Um, and it's still very, it's very unstructured and very relaxed. And as I said, a little bit dynamic, doing, mixing it up, doing some different things. Then we go into a build phase of again, probably eight to 10 weeks, um, where as the name suggests, you build upon what you've laid down in the preparatory phase and build towards um, the next phase, which is ultimately race phase. And then you arrive to race phase, which again, the race specific uh, time of training for most Melbourne based triathletes is gonna be around uh, September, October through to March, April. Um, so Sunshine Coast lay right at the end of that build phase. So I'd done no race specific work, but I was very fit in general. Um, the most, the closest I got to race specific work was, um, I think I did three two hour rides at a steady endurance effort, but just basically making sure I could stay in time trial position and um, ride the bike in, in that position. Um, and yeah, it's just sort of dialing in that position and, and getting the body used to it. So I call it postural fitness. So other than that, I've done some very different type of training. So I went in and raced and I raced with a mindset knowing that that's a prep I'd done, but knowing that I was very, very fit and just going out there to, to blow out some cobwebs, which I did. Um, I actually got a mechanical, um, which that makes it sound a bit glorified. It was actually just a, um, a flat tire, but I had some difficulty changing it and uh, some issues with the valve so it actually it meant I was on the side of the road for probably about 45 minutes so I think my official time was over five hours but if you took out that um, and just literally removed the time on the side of the road it was a 426 427 um, which isn't bad considering my personal best is a 416 um, yeah I wasn't too uh, too displeased with that uh, so that was about a 20 seven minute swim a 226 227 on the bike and then i ran 126 and I, my pass marks for that day were a 30 minute swim 230 or quicker on the bike and then 130 on the run so as you can see uh, i achieved all of those so at the time i kind of laid down and said well look i, I probably want to swim a 28 at bustleton bike a 225 ideally 220 to 225 and then run a 124 which is four minute k pace um, i've done i've achieved all of those splits in the past and i believe that the training that i've done and the preparation i've done has put me in a position that i will be able to to do that so they're my pass marks which will have me taking about nine to ten minutes off that which will put me in pb territory um, and again, I want to reiterate that just because I can do do it or I have done it in the past or I believe I can, it doesn't mean that it's automatically going to happen. I just still need to just put my best foot forward and make sure I do all the right things and make the most of whatever the day throws at me tomorrow, but also what my body throws at me as well. Um, the other thing with putting time, uh, I guess time goals in place is it can also be restrictive. Um, so it can actually, you know, potentially I've got much quicker in me. Uh, but again, if we come back to that performance predictability, you can, you can generally land on a ballpark figure for each leg and then overall, given that all the, the basics are nailed along the way. So um, I think I put out, uh, I think sort of a, a, a bronze um, would be doing a 420. Uh, silver would be matching my PB, so around 4.16, um, and then going anything under 4.15, so 4.13, 4.14 would be gold standard for me. So I've laid it all out there now. Um, it's on YouTube, um, and uh, I've put it out there. Uh, I wouldn't typically share things like this, um, and as my athletes know, I often get them to get away from the numbers, but I'm only human. Um, there's things that I'd like to achieve um, and, a, and in our sport a lot of that is centered around time-based goals so that's what I'm looking to achieve tomorrow um, and just roll with the punches see what happens so uh, there you go um, I'll obviously check back in 
probably tomorrow morning I'll record a video, but I'll definitely check back in and either have someone uh, ask me some questions post-race or just do another update like this um, and sort of give a blow 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 account of the day but also see how I went with those time-based goals. I'll talk to you after the race. Cheers.